Okay, in this video we're going to, to uh, write a linear equation when you're given the slope m and one point on the line. For example, m equals 2, the point 3, 7, find the equation. Okay, we'll explore um, a real life example with a taxi fare that is easy to understand. Then we'll do these two examples and this example that are just like your text homework. Okay. So, first of all, imagine you have a taxi and the fare is $2 per mile plus a dollar base fee. So that's 2 times the number of miles you travel plus $1. And if we let the fare be y and number of miles be x, we have the equation y equals 2x plus 1. So the fare is 2 times the number of miles plus a dollar. So x is number of miles. And if number of miles is 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, what would the taxi fare be? Y is the fare. So fill out the table. Press pause, bottom left of your screen, and fill out the table. Okay. Now, and what you should get, of course, is this table here. Uh, X is number of miles, Y is fare, and the fare should be for zero miles, it's a dollar, one mile, three dollars, two miles, five dollars, three miles, seven dollars, and so on. Okay? Calculate the table. And if we give ordered pairs for each point, give the ordered pairs and then graph the line. Press pause and do that. Write down the other ordered pairs and graph the line. The ordered pairs would be zero, one, one, three, two, five, three, seven, and so on. Okay? And we graph the line then. Here it is. Okay, plot the points, draw a straight line through it, and this is the line y equals 2x plus 1. Okay, now just to recap really quickly, this 2 is the slope. Why? Because when we look at this, to get from this point to this point, we would run 1, rise 2, okay, from left to right. So the rise over the run would be. We ran 1 and we rolled was 2, 2 over 1, and 2 over 1 is 2. So this number here is always the slope, and this number here, this 1, is the y-intercept. It's where the, the graph hit the y-axis, okay? So this is like y equals mx plus b, where, of course, your slope m is 2, and your intercept y-intercept b is the number 1, okay? Now, imagine they told you that you the slope of a linear equation is 2, and the 0.37 is on the line, because when you do your fare, you'll get, you know, 3 miles cost $7. So this point, 0.37 is on the line, the slope is 2. So this is this linear equation, y equals 2x plus 1. Um, here's the point right here. This is the point 0.37, and of course the slope is 2. How do we find the equation of the line? How We've got to come up with y equals 2x plus 1 now. How do we get that? Well, we're going to get it with algebra. I mean, one way of getting it, of course, is to plot the point 0.37, then, you know, draw a line with a slope of 2, and then you'll be able to find the equation. Slope 2 intercept is 1, y equals 2x plus 1. But how do we find it using algebra? Well, here's what we can do. We can, first of all, write down the, the uh, slope-intercept form of a linear equation. y equals mx plus b. Okay? That's the first step. Second step is to put in what you know. You know that m is 2, for example, so y equals 2x plus b. Right? But we also have this point 0.37 on the line, don't we? What does 3, how could, what, what we actually need to find is B, because if we find B, then we have the answer. Because if we have M and B, then we have the equation, right? 2X plus 1, that's what we're looking for, Y equals 2X plus 1. So, if you look at this point here, this 3 is an X value, this 7 is a Y value. This is an, an ordered pair that is on the line, therefore it satisfies the line's equation. So if I plug 7 in for y and 3 in for x, I'll have 7 equals 2 times 3 plus b. Well, let's do this now. Well, that's 7 equals 6 plus b. And why don't we get b by itself, right? Get b by itself, subtract 6 from both sides. 
and 7 minus 6, that's 1, equals B. Huh, B is 1. And we already know that M is 2. Well, if I have M and B, I can find the answer, can't I? Because it's Y equals MX plus B is the equation of a linear uh, graph, so it's Y equals 2X plus 1, right? And that's the answer. As, as we saw, y equals 2x plus 1, okay? So let's do a couple more examples. If you're told that your slope m is negative 1, and this point is on the line, you've got to find the equation of the line. So the first step is to write down the slope-intercept form of a linear equation. y equals mx plus b. Now put in what you know. We know m is negative 1. So y equals negative 1 times x plus b, right? Now, the trick is, if you find m and b, you have the answer. The answer is going to look like this. y equals something times x plus something. That's, the, that's what you're looking for. This is the answer right here. The, you're looking for the linear equation that has this slope and goes through this point, okay? So if you have the slope and the y-intercept, you can draw the equation. Um, uh, so we have that. Now, if you look at this point, this is an ordered pair. This is an x value, 5, and a negative 3 is a y value. So we can plug negative 3 in for y, plug 5 in for x, and we have negative 3 equals negative 1 times 5 plus b. Okay? Now solve for b. Negative 3 equals negative 5 plus b. Now get b by itself. Add 5 to both sides, right? To undo negative 5, you add 5. Negative 3 plus 5 is 2. Negative 5 plus 5 is 0. So 2 equals b. So we have b. And we're already given m. We have m and b. So all we have to do for the answer is to plug in values for m and b. M was negative 1, B was 2, so our answer is Y equals negative 1 times X plus 2, or Y equals negative X plus 2 to be more simple, to, 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 to write it with less ink. That's what we need to do, write it with as little ink as possible in the simplest form. Okay, let's take this example. M equals 2 thirds. And the line, the slope of a line is 2 thirds, and the line goes through this point, 6, negative 2. Find the equation of the line. First of all, write down the slope-intercept form. Y equals what? The general form, the slope-intercept form. Y equals mx plus b, right? Now, we know that m is 2 thirds, so we could write y equals 2 thirds times x plus b, right? What else could we substitute into the equation? Well, x is 6, y is negative 2. So we could put negative 2 in for y equals 2 thirds times 6 plus b. And then solve for b. So we have negative 2 equals 2 thirds times 6 can be written, by the way, 6 over 1, can't it? Which is nice because it helps us multiply the fractions you know, plus b. In any case, um, and what we can do is, that's 12 over 3, which is 4, or 3 into 3 goes once, 3 into 6 goes twice. 2 times 2 is 4. 4 over 1, one which is 4. So this is 4, plus b is negative 2, and then get b by itself. So subtract 4 from both sides. 4 minus 4 is 0. B on the right hand side. We have negative 2 minus 4. If you're in debt $2 and you take $4 away, you're in debt $6. Or 2 negatives and 4 negatives make 6 negatives. So B is negative 6. And we already have M is 2 thirds. So the answer is going to be Y equals MX plus B. Okay? M 2 thirds B negative 6 so write that in a simpler form. It would be y equals 2 thirds x. Now plus negative 6 is the same as subtract 6, isn't it? And that's the answer. This is the equation 
that goes through this point with this slope. Okay? <clears throat> now, last example, press pause and do it yourself. See if you can get it. Press pause and do this last example. So the first step is to realize what we're trying to do. We're trying to find the linear equation given the slope and a point on the line. So we write down y equals mx plus b. That's a slope-intercept form of a straight line equation, a linear equation. So our answer is going to look like y equals the slope times x plus the y-intercept. Now we already have four-fifths for the slope. And this is an ordered pair x, y. So I can plug negative 1 in for y, negative 15 in for x, and get negative 1 equals 4 fifths times negative 15 plus b. To help me, I can write negative 15, negative 15 over 1. Then I can do this, 5 into 5 goes once, 5 into 15 goes 3 times. So here I have negative 1 equals 4 times negative 3 is negative 12, and negative 12 over 1 is just negative 12 plus b. Then get b by itself, add 12 to both sides. Negative 1 plus 12 is 11 and that equals b. Okay. So what we had m is 4 fifths, b is 11, so the answer is going to be y equals mx, m is 4 fifths, plus b, b is 11, right? So that's just y equals 4 fifths times x plus 11.